Instead, I'm going to read a poem to you. Um, it's entitled The Christmas Coat. An old boy was fumbling around one day in a woman's clothing store. He would found his wife a Christmas coat and was headed for the door. When he bumped into a little boy that looked like he was lost, and he said, Mister, can you help me find out how much something costs? Here it is, almost Christmas, and the nights are getting cold. Winter time is on us, and my mom don't have a coat. I've been working for the neighbors and saving for a time. And in this, and in his tiny outstretched hand was a dollar and a dime. His gaze went from that big-eyed boy to that pretty Christmas coat, and he finally cleared away the lump that had gathered in his throat. He said, son, that's just what this coat costs. We're lucky that we found her. And he turned around and gave a wink to the lady at the counter. She put it in a pretty box and wrapped it up just so and went off in the back and found a big red Christmas bow. He said, I thank you for your help, sir, and I kindly thank you, ma'am. I hope you all are going to have a big Christmas because I know I am. Well, the old boy walked home busted, except for the dollar and the dime, thinking he'd just have to buy that coat another time. He told his wife that Christmas this year wouldn't be much fun, and he gently took her in his arms and told her what he'd done. She said, Why, you old softy, I wouldn't trade you for a farm. I've got two or three old coats and your love to keep me warm. She put that money in a matchbox, matchbox and placed it beneath their tree and said, that is the grandest gift you've ever given me. The years went by like years will do when people are in love. Their marriage was a golden bond that was forged by God above. Then one day came some bitter news that filled his heart with fright. The doctor told the old man's wife that she was going to lose her sight. He said, there's an operation we can do, but it puts me on the spot because it's a quite complex procedure and it's going to cost a lot. The old man said, doctor, I'm a failure. I've made no preparation. We don't have the money for that kind of operation. The doctor got the strangest look and he sat there for a while. And then he slowly nodded and he broke out in a smile. He said, why, sir, you can't fool me. You're a ve very wealthy man. You so long ago invested in the world's best savings plan. I'll see she gets the best of care. She's going to be just fine. And the total cost to you, old friend, is a dollar and a dime. The old man stared in disbelief, then he recognized that smile, the one he'd seen those years ago on a loving, thoughtful child. He said, what you gave to me that day was more than just a coat. You gave me the gift of giving, and you gave my mother hope. My mother be mistreated, neglected, and abused, but she gave life just one more chance, and it was all because of you. Now every year she takes that coat and, it lay, and lays it beneath our tree. It represents to us the things that Christmas ought to be. She says that when we leave this world for a better home someday, the only things that we'll take with us are the things we gave away.